let's see. Huh. Let's just check. Frozen River. Oh, I think this is the wrong one. No, that's right, we did get past the Eternal Winter. Okay. I just gotta do a quick... Laharl, Etna, Harry, Amanda, Roger, Sam, Alex, Laharl, Etna, Harry, Amanda. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I hope this sounds fine as well. Um, it should. I've s completely ruined my setup. <laughs> Just so I can sit on my bed, uh, on my bed, on my bed and relax. Uh, hello everybody and welcome to Let's Live. Oh, I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to the skull to do the tutorial. Why did I click on that? Let's live Disgaea with Mioix Fu and... Holy crap, this is a lot of text. Just, come on. Can we... there... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And when I last left you guys, I guess we got halfway through... Eternal Winter to try and catch the mysterious angel assassin, Flan. Uh, I'm trying to think. It's been a while, so I gotta, I gotta think where we've been. All right, we're gonna give, actually no, we're gonna give the psych orb to Sam. She's a healer. You've got a common orb, that's fine. We'll give a power belt to Harry. Wait, wait, who? Who's lowest right now, isn't it? No, okay. They're all the same. So we're, get, we're gonna give the power belt to Harry. Give a bulletproof vest to Amanda, because she's weak. And we'll give a muscle hustle to Roger. And I think we're good to go. Uh, one second. Let's see if that's better for Etna. No, it's crap. Alright, cool. Let's go after that angel. I have no idea where we are. White Death! I have no idea which level this is. But anyway, I decided that I should do... Oh! Oh, it's the boss level. I probably needed to level up. Although it's not its not that important. It's not that important to level up this early in the game, not start grinding for levels, so... Wow, that's really something! Oh shut up, you condescending jerk. Are you trying to make a fool <laughs> of me? No, I'm completely serious. No, I think that's the way she is. Unfortunately, yes, that is exactly the way she is. <laughs> now it's my turn to show off a little. Oh, are you gonna show us how many I'll have to use the item the seraph gave me. I can't think of a joke. <laughs> are you ready? Here I go! Although I do love this incantation. Ready? Prince, I think we're playing by her rules. Dorian Dragon Dranago! <laughs> Dragon come forth? Okay, don't say it. <laughs> anyway, dragon come forth. I don't know what was with that. Prince, we have to fight this. What? It's just a teensy little dragon. Haven't you ever fought one before? I thought you were an all-powerful demon. Much choice, do we? Yeah, come on, Etna. Anyway, I decided that I should probably make a let's live. Are there any tiles on this map? No. Cool. I should probably make a Let's Live episode, because I have not been around for the past few days. Past few days, meaning the last week or so. Um, so, I feel really bad. Like, aha, I can reach him, but it's gonna be completely useless. I'm gonna wait for Laharl, because you can go the farthest out of anyone, I think, right now. Uh, let's see, move five. Oh no, I can I can move far enough too. So let's see. I'm gonna take you out. Probably not gonna do enough damage. I'm gonna take you out and 
take you out. Because what's been happening with me is that I've actually had finals this past week. Now, that normally wouldn't be that big of a problem, because, especially as these past couple of years of being an English major, past year of being an English major, it's not that big of a deal. Like, a final's just the final test to show off how much you know. It's not a source of worry for me that much. There's one class this year that was the exception, uh, my Medieval English Literature class, which I actually think I did very well on the final, so I'm not that worried. Uh, and there was my Irish final. Irish! <laughs> uh, um, for those of you that don't know, I take Modern Irish, the language, I also take, took early in modern Irish, the literature, <laughs> and I took contemporary Irish, the literature, but no. Um, for those of you that don't know, this is my second semester of taking the modern I Irish language, and I'm pretty good at it. I'm better than I was with French or German. But I'm not the best person in the class, so I, w I was a bit nervous about that. Plus, last Friday... Oh! You you jerk! You, you killed our healer! I didn't think you could go that far. Oh, that's horrible. What's even more horrible is why didn't I think to leave the healer back? I know she's just a pincushion. Uh, oh well, I get to kill him with the prinnies. <laughs> you guys will level up, don't worry. Or you guys will be ready for um, your reincarnation soon, don't worry. It's just going to take a while, because, you know, prinnies are weak. Anyway, getting back to the matter at hand, uh, last Friday I had my Irish oral exam, which... Uh, was with my current teacher, who's been teaching us for these past two semester, who's, semesters, be, who is a Fulbright scholar from Ireland, um, who came over, who was hired by the university to come over and teach us. Um, shoot. Well, Harl, you're good to go, kind of. I'm gonna move you back. Etna, and you're gonna use Prinny Raid to take out this guy. We're probably gonna get a game over, guys. That's okay, though. Oh, well, we took out Flan in one hit. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I was expecting her to take maybe a little more punishment. Jeez, angels are weak. Um, anyway. And it was an Irish oral exam with both him and Arns. No, Harry, you died. I'm sorry. No, I died. I should probably heal myself. I think I can do it with... Yeah, there we go. And I think you should use the other mint gum on Etna. Anyway, if I'm gonna get to the if I'm actually gonna talk about it, it was an oral exam with both my current instructor and the instructor for next year. Who is actually the professor who specializes in Irish history here on campus. So it's actually gonna it's gonna be really fun to take the class with him. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh Oh Was that Amanda? I think that was Amanda. Yeah, that was Amanda. Sorry, Amanda. You dead. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Yay, we can reach him though. That's all that matters. Roger, you're probably gonna level up. Nope, never mind. Oh, you got quite a few bit, quite a while to go, actually. Actually, is he? 
How would- what? Look at that. It's a dragon, weak to fire. That's so- so- that's so dumb. Works for us, though. <laughs> and it was hard. But it was- it was not anything I wasn't expecting, because basically what we had to do was we had to go in there and we had to treat it like it was a conversation. Which we did. And there were f quite a few things that I forgot that I was beating myself up Ow. over for forgetting. You're dead. But it went pretty well. So I'm, I'm happy with that. And then Monday we had the actual written exam. Sorry, I forgot to turn on a timer or anything, so I have no idea how long we've been going. I'm going to say we've been going for like 10 minutes. Probably longer than that. <laughs> but I can't check right now because my computer is uh, pretty much on the other side of the room. Uh, you're going to win. You're, there's no way we can beat you with one in one hit. Drop dead. Right now we need dead. at least like three or four hits. And the Irish written exam wasn't bad. Either. Like, it can't hurt us. That's the big thing. It can only help us. We get a game over. I think I wanted to show this, though, because every boss that you get a game over with, you get a different story. Or you get a different ending sometimes. Okay, n maybe not. Anyway, what we have to do is level up a little bit. And... Jesus, I must have left my PS2 on overnight or something. <laughs> I'm looking at it, it's like 73 hours. <laughs> and I'm only level 13. I know I haven't put that much time into that. Uh, You know what? Let's go to the item world. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't wait, don't we? Do we have an item to escape? No. So we better make damn well sure that we're ready to go in. I'll explain the item world once we get in there. I'm gonna go into a sword. Though we should probably go into a common sword for our first time. Eh, whatever. Okay, that's not more powerful. Uh... Put that on... No, no, no. Put that on you that on you and put actually you know what I'm gonna put the muscle hustle on Sam because she died really easily last time it's probably the smart thing to do it was yeah it was hard but I'm not really worried about it I know I passed the class that's all that matters Go to the item world, and I think we're gonna go for the sword breaker actually. So you're gonna see that every it says resident level two plus on it. That means that there is there are going to be no enemies in this sword that are weaker than level two. Now for each world in the item world, because I don't think we've gone over this yet. No, we couldn't have. For each uh, part of the item world. You see that there's, well, islands. <laughs> it's just a giant world set in a void. So what we have to do is we have to go from our base panel to this panel. You can't really see it. It's a dimensional gate. It's an orange one. It's basically an orange one of these. Uh, you'll find, sometimes find specialists in here, which increase uh, certain special skills for the weapon that you're leveling up in here. So it's worth your time to stop and just take him out. Plus, they're, they're, if you're if you're doing it, if you're being smart enough, it's not going to be that hard. At least not until you get farther in. It's also worth your time to actually 
take out as many enemies as possible because it actually levels up your weapon quite a bit more. Alright, Amanda, you're gonna take out this guy, actually. <laughs> Oh, uh, but then I had a, what was it, 2,000 to 3,000 word caper, so that's what, a little less than 7 to a little less than 10 page paper, which I had to submit today at 5 p.m., which I did, um, that was based it's basically my last real final, <laughs> um, well, no, I've got a, I've got a tough final tomorrow, but it's only tough Dude. if you haven't done the work over the semester. For me, it's gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> it's gonna be alert. It's gonna be a lurch in church, you know. It's gonna be a fox in socks. No, that doesn't really work. I want to try to think up of my own. I, I want to try to think up my own phrase, like Rock Paper Mario has, you know, lurching church, lurching in church. Wait, okay, it was. Wow, those my shoulder buttons are really not sensitive. Oh, well, now they are. That's really weird. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I think we can make it. All right, so Roger. Oh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> I have a habit of doing that. I have a habit of forgetting that things are printies and then going to throw them. Which, if you'll remember, printies explode when they're thrown. So it's not the best of it's not the best of strategies if you actually want to get something done. Three, four, five. We can get her. Yeah, I'm gonna go for her. Why not? It's only going to take another turn or so. Um, but I did it on Ireland in Frankenstein, which is fairly unexplored, uh, for at least for as far as scholarship goes, because there's like a good three or four pages of Ireland in Frankenstein. And it's when Victor Frankenstein is swept from the Or- er, is, is cast on a raft uh, from the Orkney Islands by a storm. So that's like 300 miles that he had to travel over one night by pure luck to get to, to Ireland. And that's if he landed in Ulster County. Uh, there's actually a theory that he might have landed in Mayo County. Which, that's even further. <laughs> because that's a uh, western... No, that, that's northwestern Connacht, isn't it? I don't, I don't know. I know it's, I know it's like the northwest of Ireland. Um, because that's where the French landed in 1790... No, that's where the French tried to land in 1798 during the Irish Rebellion. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going off on this, and I, I don't, I really don't want to because I just finished writing the paper like two or three hours ago. So I came to do this, this let's live, so that I didn't have to think about that. Oh wait, do we have any? Okay, we got it. Ooh, we've got an invincibility. Um, hold the phone. This is quite intriguing. So you don't get invincibility often, but when you do, you can take advantage of it. Because when you throw two enemies on top of each other, this is what happens. They, they... They combine their levels, like this, I threw a level 3 onto a level 2 guy, and I believe the higher level is the form it takes, and other stuff. <laughs> so it actually, you can actually level up people really quick, 
which is a trick I'm going to be using later on to try to level up characters past a certain point. Because once you hit, like, level 30 or so, there's a certain threshold you have to pass before you can move on to another place and you s before you start leveling up quickly again. So it's really useful to have different ways of leveling up. Uh, so tomorrow I've got one more exam. Well, I've got two more exams, but one is, What is the most important thing you've learned in this class? And I'm just gonna be like, What I learned in boating school is... Blankety! Blankety! Blank! <laughs> um... No, it's, it's a class I took basically to boost my GPA. Because, to be honest, for the first three, two and a half, some uh, years of my college career, I did not have the greatest GPA, and I bet you're all being like, <gasps> Scandal! <laughs> um, it's true. Yes, it's all true. But it wasn't my fault. Yeah, it was my fault. I was in computer science, and I just wasn't good at it. I reached a point during junior year where I just couldn't progress any farther through the major, so that's why I turned to English. Uh, that and a an amazing class that I took, which is early and modern Irish literature with my advisor. And hopefully I'll be going to grad school for it. And then PhD, and then whatever else I can go for it for. Um... Cool. I love I love these scarecrow guys. Look at look. Oh, you can't get a really good look, I guess. Look at them. They got like a corn cob pipe and everything, and they they've got a head made of like a turnip or something, and they're they're just happy. They're just happy guys. Like most of the most of the guys in here, like not these guys. You can't even really see them. These guys aren't really that happy. Like these zombies are pretty cool. They're just trying to get by. I don't like the fairies, these guys. They're kind of dumb looking. And... Can't get a really good look at the ghost, but they're okay. They're kind of annoying enemies, but they're okay. Um... Actually, if I can, I'm gonna try to get it... Oh, I was gonna try to get it to be the healer. Because you actually, I think you get more experience by killing humans, humans, than you do killing other things, <laughs> than you do killing monsters. Darn, I really like the scarecrows. Ooh. Etna, careful. Good, no counterattack. I don't want Etna to die this early in. Jeez. It'd be ridiculous. Look at how excited I sound. <laughs> Alright, heal her up, Sam. Cool. Why are you so weak, Etna? Actually, you know what? Wait a minute. Blazing Knuckle. That'll take care of all four of you that are surrounding me. At least to a certain extent. Shouldn't... Yeah, okay. Killed two of you. You leveled up. Uh... Alright, now you go over to the yellow, because then you can get an attack up bonus. Me move over here. All right, let's see what that does. Drop dead. That should be perfect. There we go. And Atna's leveled up. Let's let's get the pretty stooges out. 
and but yeah, tomorrow the other S the other thing I have to do is uh, contemporary Irish literature, which isn't hard if you've done the the done the readings and actually you know done the work, which I have. So it's just three essays, which isn't difficult at all. It's not like it's an easy class if you don't put any effort into it. It's harder if you put a lot of effort into it. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's a good class, that's all I know. I've gotten a lot out of it. Not as much as I got out of early and modern, but eh, whatever. Oh, it's so good to be playing this again. It's so good to actually re be recording again, because... I missed recording for a while there. Because I'm also of the school that I only really play video games now <laughs> when I'm Let's Playing. Which is horrible, I at least I think. Like, not horrible in, like, why, like you're a horrible person for doing that. I think it's horrible in, like, it's, it's sad that I just don't ha really have the time or inclination to enjoy video games to the same extent that I used to unless I'm doing construct something actually, like, constructive with it, uh, um, like commentating. Which, I mean... I think it's really fun to commentate because, again, I'm getting something constructive out of it. I'm not just wasting time. Or at least it doesn't feel like I'm just wasting time. Aren't we all just wasting time until we die? <laughs> uh, whatever. Yeah, no, it, it just... This is nice. I get to relax. But I, I get to I get to talk to you guys, too. You know? Yeah. I think it's almost time to actually call this a part, though. What I'm gonna do is we need to do a lot of catch up. Catch up! <laughs> With this guy. And. Well, I'll get some time. I'll get some time tonight. I I'm not studying for my exams tomorrow, is what I'm saying. This is my first day of summer vacation. <laughs> Even though I still have finals tomorrow, and even though I have to do some paperwork and crap. Okay, I'm like, wait a minute. Usually when it's five effects like that, there's usually a clone hidden in there somewhere. What clone does is it clones you. And you, it doesn't, the clones of you are not on your side. Actually, wait a minute. Why the hell are we using a motherfucking battle axe <laughs> when we could be using a motherfucking lance? Um, because we don't have a good lance right now or a good spear. Yeah. Oh wow, I forgot it was attacks plus two. Jeez, we're gonna be have have to be careful, or people are gonna be dying left and right. So I'm going to record a couple of episodes, because we do have quite a few episodes that I have to make. Well, I don't have to make them, of course. I never have to make an episode, but I want to. Uh, because, I mean, we're only, what, chapter... We're only into, like, chapter... Two? thought I'd be much farther ahead by this time. I mean, I've been... I've been... I haven't done a Let's Live in, like, months, though, so it makes sense that it... it's been forever. Well, of course it makes sense that it's been forever, because it's been forever. <laughs> no, what I'm trying to say is it makes sense that we're not far, though. Jeez, you did, like, no damage. 
There's your... You don't have a high defense either. How are you doing so little damage? Who is it? Amanda! <laughs> Eat this. Yeah. Oh, my sound just cut out for a second. I was worried. And then, hopefully tonight I'll be able to record some more... Resident Evil, some classic Sega Summer. And I do not care who you are and what you grew up with. You should all go do classic Sega Summer because it is the most fun thing ever. <laughs> no, I, re I, re I really am enjoying it because, I mean... I didn't really get to play uh, classic Sega Summer games that much when I was a kid. I did get to play a few because I had friends who had a Genesis and I had an aunt and an uncle who had a Genesis. But that was it, so I didn't really get to play much. But So there are games that I'm meeting for the first time, like Shining Force 2, which is fantastic. I have yet to play more of it because, again, finals, but... And... They're old games, like Out of This World and other things that I have yet to do a classic Sega Summer episode for. That it's just <gasps> We got Skill Splitter! This one's this one's actually fun, so I'm gonna leave that in. <laughs> this one's actually fun. The other one's fun too. What am I talking about? Die! Go! Oh man, we're getting into the cinematic ones too. The cinematic special attacks, which are really cool. Well, we've got one with Lahara already, and we've got Pretty Raid. So what am I talking about? We've been we've been at the cinematic ones for a while. Oh, we don't want to attack Lahara. He's an ally. Actually, you know what? Let's put you guys in a group. There we go. Wow, you three really work well together. <laughs> Not really, you didn't kill him. Alright, this level for sure. After this one... We'll, we'll, put, we'll put this episode to bed, how about that? You guys won't have to listen to me talk about school anymore. I'll talk about the summer, because I've actually had that on the mind a lot, what I actually want to start doing for the summer, because there's... Of course, a certain few couple couple of things that I've told you guys about before that relates to LPing, but then there's other things that I haven't told anybody about. I haven't told anybody about it! <laughs> Um, my voice cracked, so I'm like, eh, eh, eh. and I, I don't know. I just want to share them because I mean, it's a let's live. What what am I doing with my living? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I see as the purpose of a let's live. Anyway, this will or should be the last, or the beginning of a new stint of putting out Let's Play videos. <laughs> I shouldn't be, except for like the odd day here or there where I just don't feel like recording or I don't feel like editing or something like that. Um, I should be putting up episodes fairly regularly. Uh, you, at least one a day. I don't think I'm going to do the winter break thing where I uploaded twice a day, because that was... that was crazy. But I will try to put up at least one a day. Alright, take out Zombie right there. And you can take out... Codeine. <laughs> Don't get addicted, animal. Oh, that's almost everybody, is it? Yeah, cool. I just have to wait for the Three Stooges to take out that thief or whatever she is. Wait. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. 
L2. I'm like, I know there's a way to switch between characters so I don't have to go halfway across the map searching for the pretties and not actually finding them. It's, it's L2. Glad I found it. <laughs> it's just faster, that's all. Etna, you can go back into your little hideaway. Wait, what am I doing? I've been playing Civ 5 a, lo a lot lately, so I'm used to having to go through every character. It's not L2, it's R2. Jeez, I got my left and right confused. So I'm used to having to tell everybody orders in order to end a turn. But I'm pretty much done with the game for now. Because what I, what I do... What really happens with those games like Civilization, The Sims, SimCity? SimCity actually is an exception, especially SimCity 3000. Um, what ends up happening is I'll play them for like a day or two straight. Absolutely, completely absorbed in them. And it'll be pretty good. But then I'll put it away for like a year and not want to have anything to do with it again because I'm like, get this crap away from me. I am wasting my time. <laughs> wasting away my life. So yeah, I've been playing Civ <laughs> 5. What have you guys been playing? Because I never ask you guys that. Not really. Oh. I will see you guys next time on... What are we on? We're on floor, floor B5. That's actually perfect. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Live Disgaea with Fu. And next time we'll work our way through the rest of this item world. Well, first ten floors. And we'll come out with a better sword... And we'll come out with level troops, so that'll help too. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.